in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys and discussing with you guys how to brighten up your skin without looking like you bleached your skin welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today like yes i always owe you thanks because it's not easy whenever you see my video you click to watch so see what your girl has for you guys today thank you so so much for stopping by to check out on what i have for you guys today my name is Choma Akujeze. If you just seen his face for the first time, here on my channel, I share skincare tips, I make product reviews, and yes, once in a while, we do DIYs. If this is something you love, please click the subscription button. Like, click it now, click, 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 to be was part of the family. And also, like, like the video now. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys and discussing with you guys how to brighten up your skin without looking like you bleached your skin. Like, yes, it can be possible. And I'll also be recommending products alongside with it for you. So don't go anywhere. Trust me, everybody wants to brighten up their skin. Even me, as I'm looking at this, I still want my skin to be brightened. I still want to brighten up my skin. So please, let's stay back, relax. And what I'm going to start with this stem hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is not bad. It's just not used the right way. It is used wrongly. Hydroquinone is used to treat post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Quinone should not be used too much. Because when hydroquinone is used too much, it ends up affecting the melanocytes, forcing them to regroup and increase their melanin production, causing a skin inflammation. So that's one of the results you get when you use hydroquinone wrongly. Skin inflammation. You start having patches here and there, discoloration here and there. For the video for today, I'm going to be sharing with you tips. Tips on how to actually brighten up your the skin. The first tip here is exfoliation. Yep. Exfoliation. Exfoliation helps to do what? Remove dead cells. It helps to remove dead skin cells that are still hanging on your skin. It helps to remove them and allow the new skin cells to reborn, rejuvenate, so that your skincare products that you are using on your skin will work effectively. I've done a full video, like I have done a full video on exfoliation on types of exfoliation on how to exfoliate when to exfoliate i've talked about it in my one of my previous videos if you haven't seen that video i'm going to leave a link up here so you can go and check out that video for your body for your body down here you can actually use that from your neck to your toes you can do physical exfoliation that's using brushes you can actually use dry brush to actually brush your skin and no you'll be like you're not seeing anything but that thing naturally works and after using dry brushing then you're not going to shower then you cannot wash off your body those things actually work to actually exfoliate your skin and at the same time if you can't do dry brushing you could also go in for exfoliating gloves with scrub so for the body scrub i'm recommending tomato curb use power lightning soft scrub most scrub will actually help to brighten up your skin definitely because it's actually helping to remove dead skin cells from your body so then why won't you, your skin look bright the second one is cool spa lightning scrub with goat's milk this one is very very affordable the third one is visco sugar scrub or you can use dr teal's scrub or this dove exfoliating scrub these scrubs are scrub you use on your body to actually help to do what exfoliate your skin moving to your face for your face you want to make sure that you go in with it's always advisable to use chemical exfoliants for your face it's, and make sure that what you're using for your face when it comes to exfoliating your face has salicylic acid though we still have some face scrubs so very very good face scrub like 
this particular one is actually the one i'm actually using this clean clear black head um clearing baby scrub i actually love this scrub a lot because it is so infused with salicylic acid in it and anytime i use it there is this fresh there is this fresh and rejuvenating feeling i get it is mild to the face so this is generally how it looks like it is so infused with salicylic acid as you can see how it is and it is mild on the face you want to make sure that anything you're using for a face exfoliation has salicylic acid has aha has bha has glycolic acid in it and has lake acid in it this product with acid actually helps to exfoliate the face mildly the ordinary glycolic toner is a good one clean and clear cleanser is a good one this is a picture of it here and the scrub is also a good one color's choice is also a good one so we're going to be moving to body wash that has showers and the bath soaps so if you want to brighten up your skin ensure to use body wash or bath soaps that actually lightens the body don't use something that is just there so whenever you see a um, product like oh this product actually lightens it to lighten it you don't get it no you can actually get it they will just brighten you up they will not lighten you up the reason why they will not lighten you up because they are washed your products they are not leave on products like they do not stay in your skin for a long time so when you want to get body wash or bath soaps like this you want to make sure that this product have koji acid cinnamide it has carrots it has turmeric it has vitamin c it has papaya it has lemon one very good bath soap is a uh, ashante because when it comes to that brightening and maintaining that fair skin or taking you to that fair skin by brightening you up it's actually good that i know why it's also there the koji sun lightning soap too also help if you want to know soaps that actually lighten you up i've actually reviewed soaps here that will actually help to lighten you up i've done a video on that so please do well to check out that video. from the ingredients i listed out you want to make sure that when you are getting your product or when you want to get any product look out for the ingredients make sure that these shower gels or the bath soaps has one of all these ingredients that i have mentioned here if you are enjoying this video please don't forget to like this video don't forget to like i'm waiting for you to like this video here so now we're moving to the body lotions don't use body lotions that will not moisturize your skin body lotion that will strip you up much that will not hydrate your skin so when you want to get body lotion you should look out for body lotions that has ingredients like hyaluronic acid Glycerin, Vera, Squaline, um, Propylene Glycol, Ceramides, Almond Oil, etc. I have reviewed moisturizing body lotions that are going to be so good for your skin, even if you're a fair or you're a dark skin. I've done lots of videos actually on this um, moisturizing and hydration. But one body lotion that I would recommend for you is the Nivea Almond and Vanilla. I love this Nivea Almond and Vanilla a lot because this is actually what I'm actually using and I love how it feels on my skin. This Nivea Almond and Vanilla, like I just have it, I just have it like, see, look at Fragrance alone is so, so overwhelming. It hydrates your skin. You can see, when I apply this, see, that hydration feeling you get that hydration feeling and this lotion will actually help to brighten up your skin using this lotion with a shower gels that actually lightens that has any of those ingredients that i mentioned trust me hmm. so, this skin is going to look so bright and even you're going to have that even skin tone that you want to have this Nivea almond and vanilla oil in lotion is a good one other one is glow half cast privilege lotion the third one is dr teal's vitamin c plus citrus solution the first one here is fair and white you can go in for fair and white the kojic white skin lightening lotion this one here is Vesely brightening lotion so you can go in for any of this lotion to use if you want to brighten up your skin without looking like you bleached your skin now for your face you want to make sure that you're already using a 
soap that actually lightens too and a shower gel or a shower gel that lightens too so you want to go in for serums and um, cleansers i would not really advise you to use vitamin c serums because vitamin c serums are photosensitive and which makes it very sensitive to the sun so most times that's why it's okay i'm using this vitamin c serum and it's reacting to my face so i'm not really advised to use vitamin c serum on your face that doesn't really be like that but the only way you can enjoy vitamin c which is actually the best and uh, is something that you must not miss out is when you're using vitamin c alongside with your xpf 50 then you'll be able to enjoy your vitamin c serums or your face cream that you're using with it you are going to enjoy it and you would love the result so one serum here we have the the ordinary you can go in for the ordinary alpha and protein or the glycolic acid that's for the toner and we have the correct snail mousin that's 96 percent serum this one is so hydrating i love it why won't your face look soft and soft when you use a product like this and we have um la roche posay the la roche posay serum for moisturizing creams i've done a video on moisturizing creams creams that are going to be so so good for your skin that will help to moisturize your skin and brighten your skin i've done a video on that before so you can just check out my previous video you can just get down there to just see the one that's going to be good for your skin this correct snail mustard has a face cream also and their face cream is so so nice helps to boost your collagen and improve the elasticity of your skin so you can just try any of those products that i've talked about and if you want to know more on um, moisturizing face cream you can check down there in my description box the link to moisturizing face cream is going to be there so you can go there and go for the one that is going to be so so good for you on your skin so so the next tip is using body oils nourishing body oils like if you've been following me for a while like these are things that i have actually been talking about body oil is also the game changer because they act as occlusives they help to lock up everything that you're using on your skin to make sure that those ingredients those nutrients that you need to get you are getting it from your skin so i've reviewed a lot of body oils on my channel before i've talked about lots of body oils as you can see it here as you can see it here if you want to know more about these body oils please click any of the link click go down to my comment section and click the link in the description box so and you're gonna know more on the best body oil to actually start with so after the body oils after doing everything you want to protect your skin from the sun the last and the final step is using spf consistently using spf is so so important because protecting your skin you want to make sure that you're protecting your skin from the sun because if you use those products and you're not as um, protecting your skin from the sun likely to have a sunburn or a sun or a tan on your skin and this is going to give you an uneven skin tone so one very very good SPF that I love so much that I'm going to recommend for you is this this skin this skin aqua. The reason why I recommended this one because it is so mild and it's even very very moisturizing to use. It has SPF 50. So this one is a good tool and it is a good one for you to actually get. We have the Gavia Sun. We have also have the Gavia sunscreen, and I'm also going to leave um other sunscreens for you in my description box so guys that's going to be all for today's video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking by with me if you have any questions or you have any recommendations please you can come you can come down to the comment section and ask your questions or if you use any of this product before you can come down to the comment section and put it there i'm going to be there to answer all your questions for you there okay guys thank you once again for watching and if you've watched me and you haven't yet liked the video please do well to like this video it's a way of showing your support to me and until then i'm gonna see you guys in my next one bye guys